Hi, everyone. I'm Adrienne Everhart, and I'm a certified dating and relationship coach. And I want to talk to you today about when a man goes ATAP, and then he goes ghost on you. And what does this mean? Well, when a man decides that you are the girl he wants to be with, and you're the one that he wants to claim and spend all his time with, he's ATAP, which is any time, any place. He will be there for you. Then something starts to happen, and the man begins to what we call rubber band or pull away, and then he can slowly become a ghost. He can go ghost on you. He can just slowly disappear, or he can disappear all of a sudden. So I'm going to talk about what happens to a woman when a man does this to her because it can really, really affect you emotionally and mentally and make you do things that you wouldn't normally do and make you feel things you actually wouldn't normally feel. So the first example is when a man starts to pull away, or let me go back, when a man is there for any time, any place, at that moment, he's crazy about you. All the hormones are going. He wants to live and serve you all the time. Now, this is where I like for you to do something called a slow burn, which is connect to him slowly over time and deeply with your feelings. Don't rush it. So, so often we want to rush it. We want to hurry up and, you know, become a couple and start posting photos of us on Instagram and Facebook. And we want to just make it happen at a very fast speed. And I actually want you to learn to slow down and really take your time. Now, when a man goes ghost on you, a couple of things start to happen to you. The first one is you get triggered to chase him. And this is a very cruel joke that Mother Nature has played on us, that when someone or something turns their back on us and goes away, we want to chase them. I'm sure some of you have chased a dog. <laughs> I'm not saying men are dogs, not all of them. <laughs> But if you've ever chased a dog, you'll know a dog will run away from you. But if you turn around, the dog will chase you. He'll come back to you. So that's just a really good analogy for um, you get triggered. And know that you get triggered. Your trigger is going to be to do the very thing that you shouldn't do. Because if the man turns his back and walks away from you, if you chase him, it sends all sorts of signals to his male brain that you're not quality, that you don't have any other options, that he made a good decision by walking away from you because you don't have a lot going on. So I want you to fight that urge to chase him if he goes ghost on you or if he even starts to pull away slightly because remember, a ghost can start disappearing very slowly over time. Now, the other thing that happens is that it sort of puts you on this emotional roller coaster where he's gone from chasing you, chasing you, chasing you you're amazing, he wants to be with you, to now he's disappearing on you. It really, really messes with your mind and your heart. It's one of the worst things that can happen to a woman because then we begin to chase the past. Now, if you've gone to my website, everheartcoaching.com, I have a, my most popular blog post there is called, um, I was in love with a man from my past. And I was actually in love with the same man it was one man, but I was in love with the version of him that existed in the past. When he used to do this, it started off that way. He used to come and see me several times a week. He used to pursue me. He used to be so sweet and come in bed and make me hot tea and make me breakfast. So we fall in love with a man from the past. And we will be in a really bad relationship or pursuing a relationship that doesn't meet our needs anymore solely because we loved the man the way he used to be in the past. So that's what can happen when a man goes ghost on you. And the best way to just get yourself centered and back to you is the best way to reclaim your energy and reclaim your power as a woman. So when you find that a man has gone from ATAP with you to now he's gone ghost on you, the best thing you can do is start taking a class, join a group, join a class uh, to higher education, join a class that's going to be fun, think about a hobby that you gave up on, maybe you used to sing with a group of girls, maybe you used to practice painting, 
maybe all of your closets in your house need to be cleaned. Sorry, got a call. <laughs> so I just want you to think about other things you can do to put your energy back into you, back into your life, instead of it being all over this man. Because when you do that, you're turning your back on him. And he can feel it. He can be miles away and he can feel it. And he'll begin to pursue you again. All right, so be sure to check me out on YouTube and my website, everheartcoaching.com. I've got lots of free classes and all sorts of good stuff for you. Much love. I hope this has helped. Bye-bye.